less is more, guys. Like, and this is just horror 101, and people still don't fucking understand this. The less, and uh, me and my friend got into an argument about this the other day, the less you see of the monster or the creature or the baddie, the better. Um, when, when you're making a horror film, typically, with very few exceptions, but typically the audience is living vicariously through the victim of a movie, okay? And that's why the 80s, well, mainly the 70s is where it started, but it didn't reach popularity until the 80s. And that is when um, the audience started living vicariously through the killer, the slasher. And that's why a lot of people got pissed because, like, you would go to a movie theater and Jason would come out and kill somebody and the audience would cheer. And that's, like, that's weird. <clears throat> but if you're working with suspense, the less you see of something, the better. Especially if your monster looks like shit. Especially if your creature or whatever looks awful. When we as audience members don't know what's going to happen next, <clears throat> we start very rapidly guessing, putting things together in our head, trying to prepare ourselves for what might come next, just so we're not too fucking scared. So nine times out of ten, that audience member is going to be able to come up with something way more fucked up than you can ever come up with as a filmmaker. So the less you fucking show of anything, the better. Um, I have fucked this up a hundred times. Every fucking filmmaker out there has fucked this up a million times. Um, and we were talking about Leviathan, um, a crappy looking monster made by Stan Winston, who um, doesn't usually make crappy looking monsters. And that one wasn't great. 